finally here. Quell versus Visual has finally dropped on YouTube. This is a battle and a half. I can't wait to get into this. I've seen a few clips going around that Quell, Visual, and Premier Battles have put on their Twitter and Instagram to promote this battle. And what a battle it looks like it's going to be. So if you're new around here, guys, just before we jump into it, smash the subscribe button. And we're in a row to 1,000 subs, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you press the big red button down below that says subscribe. Our goal is 1,000 subs by the end of the year. At the time of recording, we're just under 500. I think we're like 20 short from 500 or 30 short. We're almost halfway through the year, so this is a realistic goal. And hopefully a goal we can smash by the time uh, the new year comes around. Quill versus Visual, Premier Battles Rap Battle. We got the red ball in front of us. We got our money eggs. This is what we're going to be munching on for you today's battle. Hope you guys do enjoy. Let's get right on it and shout it before we start. Shout it Quill and shout it Visual. Two of the best in the game. Let's go. And Quill, I'm sorry that I didn't put you in a tier list, but you were putting a video just now. On your back, shorty. Boss shot down your team quick like a yoga player. Keep your heart rate up. I'm a donkey trainer. I can't wait to see the build up to that and the aftermath. I've seen this clip on Twitter, bro. I've seen this clip on Twitter. Is it Shoddy versus Quill next? Is it Shoddy versus Quill next, bro? This just makes the battle ten times more. I, I'm, I'm, Premier Battles. I'm sorry, I'm skipping your bath mate, um advertisement or promo. I do apologize. But Shark Study, Vigil Shark Study versus Mandro Mob Quell. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. Let's fucking go, boys. <coughs> Make some noise. We're about to get into a match day one battle that's been rescheduled to the pub three. On the right hand side, you've seen him on Premier Battles before, the current Don't Flock champion, managing a man to your mob. Make some noise. Let's go, Quill. And on my left hand side, head of PB Island, one of the best, best guys doing this thing right now. My name is Bishop, make some fucking noise. Irish flag in the background too. Shark study all behind them. Quell loves props. He brought out a balaclava one time. He brings out a balaclava versus Fuzz. The irony. Let's go. Real on a quill. Now for this battle, I've had to cut back the theatrics. Against you, I'm gonna lose if I'm using that same style. Wait a minute. Why am I acting like I ain't got visual? Jamie Foxx's Ray Charles, our respect, not so mutual. I have never lost to the new school, so how was Shotty giving this the approval? Now I can't even shake your manager's hand. If I do, then it's Thomas too cool, because for me... Because for me, this battle was... Because for me, this battle was paradise. Nice little football bar. This guy swallowing Malibu spirit, change his Twitter bio to future chat. And I ain't mad that you did it, but you really thought Bizzo was going to be showing you the ropes. And instead, Shotty is hanging you with it, but you... That shotty is hanging you with it, boy. You are dispensable. Didn't your team have Raptor in it, but they were quick to reverse that decision? <laughs> Fuck if it's crucifix. Believe you me, I still take heart shot visual like deep blue sea. As for, as for Bizzo. Shotty, you just might be his idol, but you need to be careful of who's your disciples, because Draft Night came straight out the Bible and his holy shoulder blade. <laughs> On the eve, there must have been a snake in the room, because after Adam saw what got picked, he's still taking this fruit. You need to lace up your boots. You need to lace up your boots. The fact you were second pick is honestly criminal. Bird Box, they should have known it was suicide as soon as they got a visual. visual. <laughs> and your visual flap was coming and said Bird Box. But... His blood all over my purple trainers. He said he keeps the gun in a tumble dryer. Well, I'll empty the drum just to return the favor. Run it back. Oh. I tried to run it back. I tried to give him a wheel up, but I feel like he might do it himself. There we go. My, my purple train is. Just to return the favor. Got a red visual. On your 
your back, shorty. Four shots on your team, quick like a yoga player. Keep your heart rate up on my target chain. Oh, boy. Entertainer in the UK. Yeah. I am yeah. a golf love champ. There's only so long you can choose to avoid me. I don't care if horror book me. I still choose my own path like the goosebumps do. Oh. Sean, the thing is, Sean is definitely standing there going like, "Visual, I need you to fucking kill him, fucking kill him, so I don't have to do it." And you can't read into this. You're gonna have nightmares of this. It's like Freddy is back. Be playing every second that lasts. Men in black, he's gonna be wishing that his head could be blank. But the visuals and visuals head will never be strange. You're getting bodied, and you're gonna forever remember the fact. Tonight I don't need a baddie. I'm keeping you hostage in your own memory bank. Tonight I don't need a baddie. Stay one. That's why we're in this venue, where you'll never beat Frank. And to be Frank, you should have been deducted points. But we all know when it comes to sharks and decisions, they get a bit of leeway. And Cole J, I ain't dealing with all the he say, she say. But try to touch my team, now I'm here. And you can get clocked by jam like Shakira and PK. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. In fact, it was you. In fact, it was you. You can get clocked by a jam and PK and Shakira and PK. made it public that he ain't wrong for a 2 one 2 Gives a quick to snitch out your mouth like Quidditch. See, visual sensitive. That's why they have to keep him in the dark like Riddick. But he said he's happy. <laughs> but he said, he said he's happy for shit to get dark like Bane. I ain't a little scared. Did a whole Batman scheme about how we can start living there. Well, I thought, oh, come night. I'll bring the mob in quickly. If I miss the freeze, I got Frost here with me. Oh. Oh, I was going to say, I was about to wheel that up, I was about to wheel that up. I was about to wheel that up. I told Arkham Knight, I'll bring the mob in quickly. If I miss the freeze, I got Frost That's here with me. me. And you wanted to see Quill? Well, I'll handle biz as soon as I see a visual in the sky like Gotham City. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Round one. Come on, visual, let's answer. Charging 800 pounds for it. I did it for free. You try charging that for a battle. Living the dream. I'd be fucking whistling to you if it was me. <laughs> Let's see if he can whistle underground like the prisoner scene. Let's see if he can whistle underground like the prisoner scene. Fuck Quill. If he wants to go, then the cunt can have it. Since you want to bite the hand that feeds you. You'll get a knuckle somewhere. sandwich. A fucking savage strike from nowhere, like a match with Randy and a pale bird arm. What is it doing? Pakistani, repeated punches. Reach for something if you're trying to die. Strike from nowhere, like an Irish goodbye. Oh, no. Since you want, <laughs> since you want to take visual light, it's an eye for an eye. The kid, the kid is dead. Watch me go from on his mind to in his head. It's shot. <laughs> It's Shark City! Use are fucked! Look at us! I mean, you heard shots? Should have ducked! Because when Shotty said I. When Shotty. When Shotty said I was the second pick, there was some shock from the managers, gasps and all. You painted the picture that Adam's reaching. Hand to God! It's the. It's the. Painted the picture that Adam's reaching. Hand to God. It's it, it's exposing. There we go. It's exposing saving. Props. Yo. It's exposing saving. Just because you can paint the picture doesn't make it a stroke of genius. No, no amount of cha-cha slides in the world can unkick your head in. <laughs> You dance, dress up, bring props. It's a cover for lazy writing. Pretend that, pretend that it's not, it's a spit in the face. Listen, mate, just because no one's done it before doesn't mean you innovate. There's a fucking reason no one's done it before. I guess the probably first time someone dressed up as a magician. Just because no one's done it before doesn't mean you innovate. There's a fucking reason no one's done it before. And it is plain he spent all 
that time breaking new crime just to dig his grave. Yeah. It's a game in his head. Black Mirror playtest. It's so stupid. Trying to reinvent the wheel when things are in motion just stops the whole movement. You can, you can, you can play the heel, bro. I'll be the arrow that goes through it. Your mo. Okay. Come on, Buzz. Your moat battle was full of bars I've heard before. Go back and watch, it'll prove the truth. He'll still do all this extra shit to spew the view. <laughs> He'll still do all this extra shit to spew the view. Man, you'll try to show me how it's done. Still, I throw the book at you. Dog's getting carried by his team like Scooby Doo. The okay. <laughs> that new style is corny. I am not impressed. Ironic that Quill changed with the times and lost his pen. You can trust. You can try and pretend. Puff your chest out, tell the world I am the best. Set examples for those at your table. The men you leave, Ray finds as a chef. You wanted to see me cook, now you'll die in the end. Okay. I will point out what you can't do just to show the damage I can. I'm an old school writer. I got Quill in the palm of my time. I got Quill in the palm of my... Come on. My cool Aussie magic. Let's go Quill. Cool. Musical magician. <laughs> so all I'm missing now is Flester as my beautiful assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic. You need to hocus pocus and grow some toes, cuz. Cuz you got some big shoes to fit. Now you think you can hang with the top tiers without proving it. In reality, fake moves and quips like you clip your way to the top tier. And that's what this biggest illusion is. And just like that, you go die in front of a crowd like Tommy Cooper did. Oh! David Blaine, Dynamo. He tried copying the lot. This is the hobby that he's got. It's funny how I got a visual doing magic. Cause when this battle got confirmed, I saw his body in a box. Oh, How's even battling me? He hasn't displayed a lot of skill. He just waved his wand at Will like I'll take a shot of Quill and poof. <laughs> Fucking David Copperfield, but you see. <laughs> but you see, the illusion is all visual. Oh. And that's what gives us this perception. And that's what gives us this perception. He uses his words in a misdirection. It's like the two Ronnies with a full candle. Four candles, smoke tree, all angles, slight of hand, cool Daniels. Now you get light of hand, cool Daniels. Now you're getting Frankies. Told you. After having small battles, but the fact that he got me shows the level of magic that he evolved from simply just waving the magic stick. Tap, tap, and click. Pulling out rabbits quick. <laughs> Making you think he can hang with the top tiers is his biggest magic trick and we've seen it with Georgie Roots. They don't care about the time frame, but you know what the fans are thinking. It's Darren Brown mind games. Well, you skipped all the mid years, came straight to the elite, but you should have taken a proper path is. Instead, he went for what will make his name fast. It's part of the act, though. He a skate artist, boy. But I need to give you your flowers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Match day one disappearing act. Now we trying that same escape magic in a straight jacket. I'm too sneaky. Stomach shots like Benfield. He gon' bruise easy. Now we in cold waters. Can't move freely. I kill him with hands tied for your two Dini. <laughs> what did you say this week? You wanted unanimous. I am too slick, too fast. The jig is up. The bottle over. It is all a facade. You weren't expecting my name to be there when you told Shotty to pick a card. But you wanna be champ. <laughs> but you wanna be champ so bad like Bizzle Bond teach me. In return, I'll show you how to do tricks with a one easy. But I'll backfire quick, because when I lift up the stick, it's going to fill up with slugs like you run Weasley. Let's go! <laughs> okay. My time. Before you start, Buzz, my dogs are going crazy. Did, as soon as I said that, they just stopped. Okay, they're fine. 
don't know what's going on. Um, before you do start us, that was a good round from Qual. Qual had two good rounds. I don't know what way to lean at the moment. I I I'll, I'll always give my prediction at the end. At the end of three rounds, I'll give my prediction. This is Joyce as well, so this is match day, so it's Joyce. I'll give my prediction who I thought won and what I thought of each round at the end of the three rounds. But so far, a very good battle. A very good battle. I like Quill's energy. Quill's energy is like in your face. He's like he. I think he's a very very Americanized. And the way that he talks about guns and slugs and all that there. But I like that. I like that. There's no one really in the UK who really talk about... Because you know if they talk about it, everyone's like, you don't do that, shut the fuck up, you're from the UK, you're from England. But Quill can get away with it, because Quill has the energy. The charisma, the energy about Quill, he has that, that he can get away with it. My title match material was too ahead of its time. <laughs> Ahead of its time. You look like you still buy matcha tucks. <laughs> That's a fact. Um <clears throat> Yet, is that a bad is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing? <laughs> Don't tell me that's a bad thing, Buzz. These are just the ones that aren't on my book. And you can see a minute there. This is my recent purchases over the last like week and week and a half. These are just the ones that are not in my book at the moment. Don't tell me the buying match taxes for kids. Everybody is a, a hobby they like. Maybe but maybe Qual likes collecting match attacks. Maybe he likes collecting Barbie dolls. We don't know. You look like you still buy match attacks. <laughs> he looks like the Pampas. That's a fact. Not doing things by the book just means you can't adapt. How are you going to be ahead of your time when you're against the clock? It's got my hands on my face. The story it tells. You bore me to hell. What you do isn't crowd work. It's corny as well. If you talk to your opponent as much as the crowd, you might see respect. A seasoned vet that needs the fans to be his best. Always doing this with the fans. Should have been obvious he has to lean on them. It's ironic. <laughs> It's ironic, he said Kraft held the fans hostage when he's the one who's needing them in the building to be a threat. It's, it's the truth. Every battle, I can lift them too. No better example than the Georgie one, because you did a full eight minute rhyme for him, didn't you? And it didn't make a difference to your material. He wasn't in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who needs intricate writing and rhyming skills? Relies on performance because the well is dry for Quill. The guys is... The guy's an asshole. Now you're up against killer punches. Ivan Drago, you're beneath... You're beneath the level that I can handle. Try me, taking the wrong steps to blow up like a minefield. I'll deck him to set an example so there's no more doubt. If you want to play with these hands, I'll have to take the Joker out. It's oh, just, it's, it's, je it's Jester, it's Jester moves to king shit. The water's rising, no problem for a shark. It's sink, swim, take and run from a scene. You made shitter for spring. Give, toothiest, killer, malignant. I swear, oh. I swear this scene's in a comfy beat. He thinks he can play with his food like a happy man. You want to toy with the kid? You want to toy with the kid? Let me tell you how I really feel. Like a Freudian slip, I'm enjoying this. Come on, Buzz, come on. You wanna toy with you wanna toy with the kid? Let me tell you how I really feel like a Freudian slip. I'm enjoying this shit. I've been talking to the goat guy in my hands. Anya Taylor Joy and the witch. And that's it. And that's exactly why you've got spun. You can coast in most of your battles, Quill. This is not, not one. one. You got an ass. You got an animal on your ass like the rock trunks of hog dog. <laughs> I'm on top like a bald spot. <laughs> Rewrote this script. If you want to talk prompts, let's set the scene. You'll get cut too. Fuck you. Proper oh. melt. Paper champ, waste the money like the million dollar belt. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Next round, we'll talk about that terrible title. 
In the meantime, I got a blade with your name on it, like Randy Jackson from American Idol. <laughs> okay, but I gotta settle for this next round. I'm I don't know who's one. Okay, let's set the move. What you got here? Top tier. That's the way he wants to move. In this situation, I am the gatekeeper, and I'm not gonna let you through even with your magic. Johnson, your style is AIDS. It doesn't matter how much prep you do, where you just appeared in the present moment. Quals, energy, charisma, his clarity when he speaks, when he goes fucking high energy. If I went high energy, no one would fucking understand a single word and a sentence I would say. Quals goes high, Quals, Qual, I put two together. Qual goes high energy and you can still understand every syllable, every word that comes out of the man's mouth. I like it. You just appeared in the present moment. Now you... Now you wanna act like I was a pimple in the past Where now I feel like Stan Lee creating Cyclops I'm about to put visual on blast Singing me and Cole J Singing me and Co Saying me and Cole J destroy the scene When the gap that we fill you don't know the void Before I was a champion, hot prospect, poster boy Cole J was battling people that would leave your soul destroyed And snap, as soon as the scene got shaky A visual instantly appeared like a Polaroid With his opinions shattered and all the noise <laughs> I feel like Koji is underrated in the battle in the world of battle rap in the UK. Even in the world, I guess. The people he's battled, his resume speaks for itself. Like even this recent battle against Gemini where apparently he won. I haven't seen it yet. It is on Patreon. Um it does on my list of things to watch. I've got so much to catch up on. Um But Koji is a very good battle battle rapper from the UK. Well, he just doesn't get the respect that he probably deserves. Whereas Quell probably feels the same in our hand because he's never mentioned among the greats. But he probably should be. Cole J was battling people that will leave your soul destroyed and snap. As soon as the scene got shaky, a visual instantly appeared like a Polaroid with his opinions shattered and loaded away. With his opinions shattered and loaded away. Yeah, well, go ahead. Educate me. But whilst you was at home coming over holy shoulder blades. <laughs> Same time, fifth birthday. I was on the big stage where he'll break like rollerblades. See that bar? Ten years old, still holding weight. Last time I was battled in this venue, 2012. I'm from that golden age. Oh, you got a little show of faith. I'm shotting down the protege. Wanna teach a veteran about wars in the olden days. Bro <laughs> He never put the culture in front of him. Lady Gaga, poker face, he got it upside down. Paloma face, he the type to get. Upside down, Paloma face, he the type to get clocked by shadow boxing. So how do you. You never put the culture in front of visual. Lady Gaga, poker face, he got it upside down. Damn, Paloma face. He the type to get hit by shadow boxing. So how's he throwing shade? I'll have the most. Oh, he's head to get his well, shadow back and how's he throwing shades? Paul got this crowd chat in Frio and it's like even the Irish are saying it, bro. He's throwing shade, I have the mob come after the magician like smoking aces. All you see is limbs and yoga flame. Then I catch him as he's dropping like Lois Lane. Oh. Seeing it's my food for what the fuck's happened whilst I'm up here as a champion, giving opportunities to upcoming talent. That's why I don't fuck with this fool. Jackie Chan, I should break every bone in his body for the stunts that he's pulled. Let's go. Your bar with Cole J was actually compliments to me. Really boosting my ego. I listen to it when I'm in the gym. For me, it's like a cheat code. Watching you say how much better I am than Cole J while he's bodying you like 3 0. Bro. <laughs> what did you say yesterday to the wiretap? You love me as a battler. But as soon as we're locked in, you have to convince yourself my bars were shit. And you, don't act like you can't admit you had the hardest dick watching me versus Charlie Clips. Bro, your whole team are my fanboys, bro. Your whole team are my fanboys. You should have known there's some imposters among us tonight. And this time, Bond is not the only undercover spy. But you should soft crow. Oh. This time, Bond is not the only undercover spy. You should soft crow and close that in your whole team, because they'll leave you hung out to dry. Oh. You might have escaped Frost. But you're still gonna die, though. I don't fuck with this guy. I don't care if he my son. I still nank him and leave him slump there to die. They'd be like, shit, team's gone cold. And now they're wondering why. Yeah. 
Bro, I, I love that they were going to start fighting there. Whenever Cole pushes him away. Here. Some flies. Is it so, some message? Some flies. Some flies. Here comes Trobes, they separated. He don't get the shot his face. Raymond, if he don't want, if he doesn't don't want the man to retaliate, man's felt like a fucking shit house. He would run free everybody. And now they're wondering why It's cause every clash You act like you're born on the battlefields And we know that ain't the life you live in It's so I bring back the baddie QB rushing yards on Michael Vickin Keep bobbing But if I feel the Irish tension I might just spin him What are we gonna pretend That visual's okay for the fight Like Michael Bisping with his eyeballs Listen The Irish famine happened in the 1800s Right? That visual doesn't make for easy viewing. Soil soaked blood, scurvy, man hooked up to intravenous fluids. Well, if you don't want to hold this corn, because he's still brewing, I've got a black 47. I'll put a potato on the barrel. Bow, and I'll feed it to him. <laughs> and around three, and I'm feeling the head of the I ain't going anywhere. Chris is going to get it on the scope. It's all about the last line. I put a potato on a barrel and feed it to him. Quill is the Dunks Club UK champion! In 2023! You don't say! On an unrelated note, I am honoured to be the top goal scorer in the under eight league of blind kids with no legs! <laughs> You'd think, you would think the Don't Flop UK champion would have full battles on Don't Flop against someone from the UK. So before the title match, when's the last time you did that? You know, what would you say? Shut up. Seven years. <laughs> Seven years, 10 months, 22 days. <laughs> Dumbfounded. Six of your last seven have been one-rounders. Convenient. <laughs> Conveniently dating back to when the love floundered with the funds down. There's only two PB appearances from him since 2019. They were both on joint events with other leagues to afford his high fee. You, you, yeah. you claim to love this scene, but instead of spitting for three rounds, you'd rather sit when it bleeds out. You've only done one three rounder since I debuted. After we put in the work to ensure the scene was alike, he lost the fire while we fought to keep it alike. Yeah! Then, yeah. 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 Come on! Yeah. 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 And, no, and now you want to come back and take the credit while you moonwalk, do a jig, somersault. You didn't lift a finger to even check if there was a pulse. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, yes, bro. I'm not rocking with it. You can have your electric performance, bro. I'm the one that shocked this system. Me up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. He only does shit for his benefit. That's what's going on in his head. I mean, Earth's golden boy hosts the podcast with Bagno, and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Betsy must lay him while King of Don't Flop. There's no honest defense. Fuck a throne. The only thing you're sitting on honest is defense. defense. Come on, Buzz. Then, then you got in with PB as a manager. Pick a side first. Try to be the gaffer behind the scenes, but that's light work, all leather and mate. You might have thought soon as I stepped on the stage, I'm being fed to the snake like Severus Snape, but he's been underwhelming in more battles than I've had. Couldn't see what you're made of with DNA. He freestyled the past the time. Then in the first clash, you give Kraft a body like Frankenstein. The list is, the list is many. You almost screwed the money over twisted pennies. Oh! But he's, but he's the UK and world champ. Twice as neat. <laughs> he unified the belt. Thinks he's the tribal chief. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine with me. I'll still light up an old head like I'm the fiend. Mm. 
Mr. Spitz three rhymes every three years. Thinks I'm gonna hand him a big prime. Tell him having him sit down. How can I fear a champion who's scared of championship rhymes? Oh, oh shook, I think. It's called shook. Oh, it's he, like. Okay, that was good. Come on, Buzz. Double champ my fucking hole. Con <laughs> Congrats. Another useless achievement that's never been done. You think that makes you better than us? The titles he holds are a reflection of sun, because you can have every belt except the relevant one. Fuck off. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yo, mate, I've just got back from... Right. This is the time. Who would I give the battle to? Round three is probably both their... Both their rounds. Round three for both those guys was my favourite round for both of them. So it's hard to decide on round three. Round two, even though it doesn't... I'm not a massive fan of bringing props to a battle but it worked well made it work so fair major props to get it major props to quell in that he made it work a lot of magician puns and plus lines in there but i'm going to give round two to quell no sorry i'm going to give round two to visual is what i meant to say sorry i'm going to give round two to visual Round one, Quell had an unbelievable opener round. I th it, none of them had bad rounds. Right, none of them had bad rounds. Quell round one, Vigil round two. Round three for me was the deciding round. I think it's just the preference of styles. And as it was a style clash, so it was preference of styles of what you thought was the best. For me, it's 2-1 it's either way. Might be might might age closer to two one quell, um. His round three was very good. He came after everyone, not just visual. Visual's round three was really good as well. Like he was talking his shit to quell on behalf of the shark team. I don't know. I might have. To, I might say two one quell. I might say two one quell. Okay, I'm going two one quell. Let's see what everyone says. Let's see if people agree with me. Probably. Funny, in every rap battle we've done, we've got the prediction spot on in every one. If we may, we may have said 3 0, it might have been 2 1 or whatever, but we've always got the 1 right. I think it's Quell's going to 1, and I think it's 2 1. One of the most explosive battles I've seen in a long time. Viz and Quill, and shots <laughs> in this one. And shots. Um, Quill was, gonna, he was doing his thing, he was really animated, he was bringing in the crowd, what he did in the second. Um, I thought, oh, it's going to be proper gimmicky, but actually it really worked for his rounds. A lot of what Viz was saying was incredible as well. I would give Viz the third, going backwards. Okay. Um, as much as I thought it wasn't going to work, I'm going to give Quill the second, and I'm going to give Quill the first as well. Okay, yeah. The way he entered in, the way he went straight to Sharks, he was talking to them, he gassed everyone up, it was what we're here to do. set the tone. Yeah. So 2-1 Quill. So 2-1 Quill, first one up. Smokehouse, red. two seconds. So 2-1 Quill. I round three I thought was the deciding round, but so Danny, uh, pick your battle, smokehouse, judging visual versus uh, quill. I have got some notes, so I'm gonna read it. Um, first round I think was probably the clearest round. I gave it to Quill. Um, mm -hmm. he had some really, really good stuff. They both had really strong openers, which I really liked. So He's I gonna give round two to, to like visual. Was awesome. um, going into round two, I'm not a huge fan of props. Um, I preferred visual stuff, but what Quill done was really, really good, and the way that he done it was really well. Um, it just wasn't really for me. Um, third round, I've got Quill just edging it, um, so 2 1 Quill. Uh, if anyone wants to see a breakdown or anything, get on the smokehouse and we'll do get it. Get on the smokehouse. Crafty here, uh, judging Who won? Both of them. Uh, before I judge this, I did declare a little conflict of interest because I just lost the title to Quill. No one was available to battle, so I do want to judge, so I want to make that clear. Um, Quill's performance was absolutely incredible. There's so much to say here, okay? Um, first round, yeah, just the stuff with Shotty Horror. It's a 10 out of 10 performance. So many incredible bars. Um, yeah, best Quill writing as well I've heard in a while. Um, visual comes back, but I think Quill's just turned the crowd against him. Not, not against him, but he's won the crowd so much that it's hard for Visual to take it back off him, and I felt that. Through the whole battle, Visual's writing was really strong. Some of the punchlines were 
a lot of my favourite punchlines were from him, but they weren't getting the, the crowd reaction all the time. Quill's second round, I mean, I've got to talk about the gimmick, the magic gimmick, and the... It worked for him. Off with Shotty. It worked. It was all box office. It all helped him win the crowd. Mm -hmm. Does it count towards winning the battle? It's a different question. I'm not sure the gimmicks are always relevant, just in my opinion and my preference, but it's impactful. It no doubt got the crowd, and he had the buzz woven in with it. So, you know, you have to give him a lot of credit. He got a lot more reaction. What I'm going to say is there is a case for Viz in both the second and the third round. I think the second, based on if your preference is the gimmick and the, the way it was sold and the tricks and the performance, or if it's just the punchlines. The third round, I think there's also a case for Visual. I think he just had stronger bars for me. You know, Quill was going back to the angle of facing off with Shotty, which again, it was entertaining, I loved it. He was going back to insulting the other team and, and he did some really nice flow bits of blowing the face. There was a lot happening, um, but you could just edge it on bars to Visual. I gave a 2-1 to Quill. Incredible performance. 10 out of 10 performance. That's like... I think in terms of writing and battling and angling, Visual was strong. And there's a case for him in both the second and third, but I'm giving it to Quill. I hope that wasn't too long. Big up Premier Battle. It's like, I put a tier list telling everyone what I thought of them. People got mad because I didn't rate them as high as ours. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. 2-1 Quill is what I said. I basically said what the three judges who felt years and years of experience in battle rap exactly said a minute, two minutes after I gave my prediction. 2-1 Quill was what I scored it. I can't wait to see Visual versus Moke go down. Quill just battled Moke as well. Visual battled Moke after this battle, so a little triangle going on there. Visual versus Death the Kid. Um, PB Ireland was the last one. I haven't watched that one. That might be one we might have, might have to jump onto. Visual. Ah, my ass is sore. Death the Kid recently battled Fibu and I battle, and we did do a reaction to that. It's going to be up in the channel somewhere, sometime. So we might have to battle, watch Death the Kid if we enjoy his performance versus Fibu. We might have to come back and watch Death versus Visual. But guys, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe down, down below. Pardon me, sorry about that. Um, on the road to 1k, if you did like this content, smash the thumbs up, share it around guys, help me out, support is always appreciated. Shout out Val, shout out Vuzz, shout out Quill, shout out Premier Battles, shout out Shotty, Brexy, Bagnall, everyone involved behind the scenes. It's been a while to you guys, peace out.